Roy Lichtenstein was born in Manhattan into an upper middle class family. He was an avid jazz fan, often attending concerts at the Apollo Theater in Harlem. He would frequently draw portraits of the musicians playing their instruments. Lichtenstein then left New York to study at the Ohio State University, which offered a degree in fine arts. In 1951, he had his first one-man exhibition in New York. At this time, his work varied between Cubism and Expressionism. In 1961, Lichtenstein began his first pop paintings using cartoon images and techniques derived from the appearance of commercial printing. His first work to feature the large-scale use of hard-edged figures and band-aid dots was Look Mickey. This piece came from a challenge from one of his sons, who pointed to a Mickey Mouse comic book and said, I bet you can paint as good as that, undead. Dad? Lichtenstein used oil and acrylic paint in his best-known works such as Drowning Girl, which also featured thick outlines and bold colors. His most famous image is when, one of the earliest known examples of pop art, adapted from a comic book panel from 1962 issue of DC Comics. In 1970 his work began to loosen and expand on what he had done before. He produced a series of artists' studio which incorporated elements of his previous work. A notable example is artist studio Look Mickey, which incorporates five other previous works fitted into the scene. In the late 70s, this style was replaced with more surreal works such as Power. His painting Torpedo Loss sold at Christie's for five and a half million dollars in 1989, a record sum at the time, making him one of the only three living artists to have attracted such huge sums. <laughs> 